Teresa with My Lice Advice and this video tutorial is all about how to kill nits and lice eggs. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com and I'm a registered nurse and I actually specialize in head lice. So if you've discovered lice and you're trying to figure out what to do, just go to MyLiceAdvice.com I have step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through how to get rid of it. I'm gonna break this video down into four main parts. The first part is what's the difference between nits and lice eggs? And then second, how you can very easily know whether or not a lice treatment or a home remedy kills nits and lice eggs. And then third, if you were to go to a lice professional, like a lice center, how do they typically kill lice eggs? And then fourth, what is the gold standard for killing lice eggs? What is the thing that is the very most effective? So let's get to it. What's the difference between nits and lice eggs? So what are lice eggs? They are exactly what they sound like. Lice bugs lay little eggs in the hair and each of those little eggs has a bug inside that eventually will hatch and reinfest your child. The telltale sign of something being a lice egg is that it's going to be glued onto a single hair strand. It's stuck on there. Now, as far as what lice eggs look like, the most common misconception is that they're going to be white. Typically, lice eggs that you're gonna find in the hair will have some sort of color to them. They're either gonna be this golden color or two-toned color um, or even a dark brown or black. Now, knits are lice eggs that have already hatched, meaning that there is no longer a bug inside of them. And you're gonna typically find these knits in someone that's had lice for an extended period of time. These hatched lice eggs that are called nits are gonna be white and gonna be further down the hair strand. Whereas lice eggs are closer to the scalp and they're going to have a color to them. So if you see these brown lice eggs, don't think that they're dead. It's actually the opposite is true. If they are brown, they still have a bug inside of them. And obviously, if they still have a bug inside that's going to hatch, that means they're a bigger threat because soon that bug is going to hatch out of that egg and just reinfest your hair. Whereas these white knits, those have already hatched, so they no longer pose a threat. Most of the time, people just use the two words interchangeably, knits and lice eggs. For the rest of this video, I'm just gonna say the word lice eggs because to me that makes a lot more sense because knits are already dead. They've already hatched. It's the lice eggs that still have a bug inside of them that are the ones you really want to focus on killing. How to know if a treatment kills lice eggs. So there's a lot of products out there that claim that they kill lice eggs, but there's one easy way for you to know for sure whether or not it kills 100% of lice eggs. And the easy way is to just look at the back of the box on the instructions. Does it require a retreatment or not? If it requires a retreatment, like let's say in seven to 10 days, then that means that that product does not kill lice eggs. Sure, it might kill some lice eggs, but if it killed 100% of lice eggs, then you wouldn't have to do a retreatment. Let me explain this. Your typical over-the-counter pesticide treatment relies on waiting for the eggs to hatch. Typically, lice eggs take seven to 10 days to hatch. And so with a lice treatment kit, like a pesticide kit, what they'll say is treat today and then treat in seven to 10 days. And the reason why they're saying that is because they know that it's not going to kill the lice eggs. All those little lice eggs are gonna hatch and you're gonna have a whole bunch of little baby bugs in your hair. One thing you should be aware of if you're gonna do this kind of treatment is that lice have become immune to over-the-counter treatments and pesticides that used to work in the past. And so it's pretty typical for people to have head lice come back over and over because they never get rid of it with those over-the-counter kits or home remedies. And so if you have found yourself in this situation where you keep trying lice kits and lice keeps coming back, it's because they're immune to it. And in that kind of situation, I'd recommend that you go to my website, myliceadvice.com. I actually have a step-by-step -step video system. You just follow along the videos and by the end of them, you'll be done with lice and it won't ever come back again. And I'll put a link for that in the description below. How lice professionals kill lice eggs. 
there are certain places that are actually lice centers. Like you can go somewhere and pay someone to take care of your lice problem. This is the kind of thing that I do. I'm a lice professional. That's what I do full time. I help people with lice. And lice professionals like me use one of two ways to kill all of these lice eggs. One of the ways is that some of these centers have a machine that basically blows a whole bunch of hot air at the lice eggs and dehydrates them and kills them. This is a one and done kind of treatment. It usually costs about $200 or so per person. So if you do have that kind of money, then that is totally an option. One thing you can do at home that's really helpful is you can blow dry the roots of your hair. So I'm definitely not saying that all you have to do is just blow dry your hair and then you're done. But blow drying the roots of the hair with really high volumes can kill a lot of lice eggs. So if you have a blow dryer, that is something that will kill some of these lice eggs. Now, most lice professionals like myself don't use one of these hot air devices because you just don't need it. Instead, they use the gold standard, very best way to kill all of the lice eggs. And the very best way to do that is actually by getting them out of the hair and off the head. Because lice eggs cannot hatch. They cannot reinfest your child if you get them all out of their hair. And as soon as these lice eggs are out of the hair, they die very quickly. So you don't have to worry about them like hatching and reinfesting your house. Now I know in your mind, you're thinking that most lice professionals do like nitpicking. Now, if you've ever tried nitpicking, it's tedious, awful work. It's basically where you pinch each one of these lice eggs in between your fingers and pull them all the way down the hair strand. Now this kind of thing takes forever and most of the time people miss a lot of lice eggs doing this. So this is not a good way to kill lice eggs by doing this nitpicking. Instead of spending hours and hours nitpicking, I recommend that you get a really good lice comb. I'm talking about the same kind of lice comb that professionals use and these are not expensive you can get a good lice comb like this on amazon for like 10 or 15 dollars and that's what i recommend that people use on my website mylyceadvice.com i actually have a series of step-by-step -step videos that'll show you exactly how to do a professional lice treatment on your child at home it's a one and done treatment it's 100 guaranteed to work so if those are the kind of results that you're looking for, I would recommend that you check out my video system on myliceadvice.com. Okay, so let's just sum up really quickly the four key points. The first is nits and lice eggs. Sometimes the two words are used interchangeably, but remember nits are just lice eggs that have already hatched. The lice eggs, the ones that are brown, are the ones that you really wanna focus on because those are the ones that still have a bug inside of them. And now remember, the easy way for you to know whether or not an over-the-counter treatment actually kills lice eggs is if it requires a retreatment. Because remember, if it requires a retreatment, then that's just about killing lice bugs and then letting all of them hatch and then killing them again. And the big trouble with that is that most lice have grown immune to these kinds of kits. The third is lice professionals use two different methods. One is that they use that hot air device. Um, it usually costs about $200 per person to do that kind of thing. Um, one thing that you can do at home is that you can use a blow dryer to try and blow dry some of those lice eggs and dehydrate them that way. It's not gonna be as effective as using one of those professional devices though. And then the other way that lice professionals get rid of lice is that they have a special technique where they actually get out every single lice egg and they don't do it by nitpicking. Um, and I show you exactly how to do that on my website, myliceadvice.com with step-by-step -step videos. So if you're interested in that, that's where you can find it. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to myliceadvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.